The pacemaker is a medical device uh, that provides pacing support for patients with very slow heart rates. Uh, for some patients, it makes them feel better. For many patients, it actually allows them to live. In the United States, if a patient shows up to the emergency room, they will get a pacemaker regardless of their ability to pay. Uh, patients in most of the world do not have access that's reliable to pacemaker therapy. The project began uh, when a patient of, um, of ours um, who received the pacemaker died shortly thereafter, and her husband brought the pacemaker to one of our trainees, Dr. Tamir Baman. That inspired us to look into the possibility of reusing pacemakers. The mission of Project My Heart, Your Heart is to provide pacemakers that have been reconditioned to underserved populations in underserved countries. We are able to provide that free of charge. The process to recondition a device takes approximately two months from donation to reconditioning. We've had funeral homes donating to the project now for 10 years. It has grown nationwide. We've gotten donations from all 50 states. We get a batch of devices from funeral homes and we sort them. We interrogate the device for battery life. If it has more than four years of battery life remaining, remove patient health information and turn the device off and catalog it. We then ship the device to Northeast Scientific in Waterbury, Connecticut, where they clean and decontaminate the device, and then we electrically test the device to make sure all of the parameters are met. This requires a lot of hard work and some tedious work, so it's a labor of love. We've been met with a lot of enthusiasm from uh, a lot of different countries. Uh, we've, we've been able to provide uh, devices to uh, physicians who really know what to do with them, and we've uh, helped train many of them. We have implanted approximately 175 devices in South America, Africa, and Asia. I want to thank the My Heart, Your Heart organization. Thank you, Pace for Life. Thank you. You saved my, my wife's life. I thank you. Muchísimas gracias. I am very grateful. I'm so happy my heart is filled with happiness. Thank, thank, thank you. you very much. When I see patients in follow up, uh, I see how uh, much better they can function. Many times, people who are not able to work are able to return back to work. Uh, many times patients who were having dizzy spells and were not even able to walk across the room are able to function uh, virtually normally. So in the beginning, if a patient requested a device or a family requested a device, we believed it was our ethical duty to provide them with one of our devices. We have overcome many regulatory obstacles and have been able to get approval for a clinical trial to be done at, uh, several, uh, in several countries. Um, which include uh, Venezuela, um, Nigeria, Kenya, uh, Sierra Leone, uh, and Mozambique. If it shows positive results, uh, we'll be able to scale this up, allow for large-scale pacemaker reprocessing uh, and donations to uh, patients in low-income countries. It's a unique project. I don't believe that there's any other effort on this scale uh, in the world that's trying to create a blueprint for how to safely uh, recondition pacemakers and offer them to patients at no cost uh, because otherwise those patients would not be able to get the devices. I see unlimited growth for the project, but also testing and proving the safety and efficacy of other implantable devices, specifically CRT pacemakers, CRT defibrillators, and ICDs. When you receive thank you notes and you receive videos from patients receiving the device that I've put my blood, sweat, and tears into. Um, it means everything to me to be able to give back to someone who can't afford the same care that I can. And we take it for granted. We haven't stopped growing and I envision us uh, never slowing down.